Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to do this quick little video um, simply because I haven't had much time since I've been trying to edit all of my footage from when I went to Mexico about a week ago. <laughs> my aunt's like, I expected more. So she's like, um, is this it? But as you can see, it's super crowded. Mom's yelling my name. Monica. So I definitely just wanted to do this because I was like, this is definitely a good opportunity to do kind of like a haul video. Uh, I've never done one before, and obviously it's not sponsored because. This is my first time ever shopping with these brands. So I'm just going to go quickly through them all and then put them on for you so that you can see how they look and if I like them and all of that good stuff. But before we go anywhere, don't forget to subscribe right down below that little red button right there. Click on it and let's get on with the video let me just talk about these because i do a lot of online shopping so i think it's great for other people to know like what works and what doesn't work the first bag i got was from outfit of the day fashion and where's my phone one of my co-workers was like you should try out outfit of the day fash they're online it's on instagram and i went through some of their images and i really like the clothes so i decided to go on to the website and i bought two shirts and they're pretty much this they're they're the same style but just in different colors so i didn't get that color but i got like a blue here's another one in yellow and i thought it was really cute so this is what they came in First off, I do want to say that I wasn't expecting this type of texture. It's kind of like the texture that you see, like it's kind of like ruffled and wrinkled, but on purpose. And it has like, you know, like that um, frimply texture. I don't know how to say it. But anyways, this is how it is. And obviously it's like a long sleeve. And then you tie it in the front right here. When I do online shopping, I always debate between getting a small or a medium in like any kind of top. With this one, I was really skeptical in getting a medium because as you can tell in the picture, it's um, a very like flowy, not flowy, well definitely flowy. But do you notice how it's very baggy from the sleeves and even in the middle, it looks like you know there's enough uh material to go around <sighs> with online shopping it's so hard because i'm petite in like size like in height i'm 5'1 but um i'm a little bit more curvy than i should be right now so sometimes i have to get a medium when in reality i should be getting a small just because it fits like in terms of like the shoulder length and obviously the torso length as well but i'm thinking now i could have gone with the small you're gonna see them on me right now you'll just see or maybe it's just me maybe i just don't like baggy clothes that much i do but only when they try to accentuate my curves so i'm gonna put these on and then i'm gonna show you how they look like this is how it looks like so do you see what i'm talking about like um so first off, I love the color. I definitely do. And I love the style of this top. But apart from that, I just feel like I could have gone with a size small. Just because, like I predicted, there's just like a lot of um, baggage around the sleeves. And even right here, where it's supposed to end, like at the little the wrist area, it's kind of like big on me. Or I don't know, maybe that's the style. And then in terms of the length of the top from here, I feel like I can do without all of 
this stuff right here. It's a really nice blouse. Like, I really like it. But I think I would have gone better with a small. Less. Um, I like it. I really like the color. This is the other top. Um, let me see. You can get a closer view like this. But yeah, don't be afraid to go for a small. Although I feel like if I would have gotten the small, this portion right here, like around the waist, would have been a little bit tight. But, I mean, I don't really know the return policy for these shirts. If they do, if they have an easy exchange policy, then I'll probably exchange them for a small. But, I mean, I don't hate them. But yeah, guys, this is the other Linda top. I think the color of this one is, let me check my mailbox. So this color is in the color sage. And then the other one is, the one, the one that I just put on, is in the color teal. You know, I'm not, I don't hate it. that's how it looks like I think it's really pretty especially for the summer if you don't want to get um, too sunburned so it's kind of like that type of top you can wear um, on a summery day maybe with like some shorts or something if you don't want to wear them with jeans but yeah I don't know and I really do. I just, like I said, I feel like I could have gone with the small just to avoid all this like extra um, baggage right here. And yeah, so that is my haul for outfit of the day fash. You guys can find them on Instagram. Now, another brand I wanted to talk to you guys about was Laura's Boutique. I bought a bathing suit from them. Um, it fit really nice and I got a medium on it. I'm gonna show you guys the picture. So this is the bathing suit I got from Laura's Boutique and it's sold out right now. It didn't feel like those bathing suits that just kind of like fit too tight. It was perfect. And now the second thing I got and then I actually had to get in contact with Laura's Boutique because one of the strings just like detached itself. So this is the top right here. And it's called the Roxanne top in the color blue. Now this one I decided to get a small, but then I realized when I put it on, I was like, I could have gone. It's not that I didn't fit me. I just feel like the medium would have felt a little better. Okay, right there. This is the top I got. And at first, I was like, no, it's a little too showy. But then I realized maybe it won't look so showy on me. So in my blouse, I grabbed it from the string when I was trying to pull it out of the box. Or out of the bag, I'm sorry. And when I pulled it, um, one of the strings came unattached. So here's one string, and then the string that's supposed to be up here. It's just, it's just gone. It's right here, look. So I got in contact with Laura's Boutique and I told her basically like the situation and Laura's customer service was really good. And right away in like less than two hours, the whole problem was situated. And I was like, that's really good because from what I can tell, tell Laura's Boutique is pretty out there, but not out there, out there like Fashion Nova and stuff. So... I'm really glad that a small business like that can be much, have much better customer service than like Fashion Nova, for example. So this is how it's supposed to, how it's supposed to, but, um, I'll show you guys if I can, um, when my other shirt arrives. All right, guys, <laughs> comment down below what you guys like the most. That's it for me, guys. I'll see you guys in my next video pretty soon. I'm gonna keep editing all those videos. 
all that footage I have from Mexico. So stay tuned for that as well. All right, bye guys. <laughs>